Did you love each other, don't you? Yes, you do. Welcome to a new week vlog. I didn't actually vlog last week because I got to Friday and realised I hadn't started it so I just thought you know what let's just not vlog because I wasn't doing anything interesting really I don't think. I've got trouble trying to eat everything that's on my bed. She really loves being on my bed it was so cute this morning. Oh it's Monday as well by the way. Um, Hannah brought her into my bedroom because she was about to leave for school and there was no one to entertain her. Well people were around but everyone was like busy so she just brought her in and dumped her on me whilst I was met, like I was asleep. She woke me up with her. She like went crazy licking my ears and doing what puppies do. And then she just got in bed and just went to sleep. And I was like, yes, <laughs> I'm looking after the puppy, but I can also just have a lion. Um, so yeah, she was really good. But now she's trying to eat my jogging bottoms, which I don't want her to do. So we're going to just move those away. I'm about to go to circuit training class. Obviously I need to remove this before I go, but I just wanted to film with my makeup on because I quite liked it. It was the Steeler in the Light palette and um, Je Jeffree Star Gemini on my lips. Why Why is it not really focusing on me? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to go to circuit training. And, and then this week I have my first exam, which is a bit scary. So, trouble. Jesse, what are you doing? What are you doing? Look at this little puppy. Look at this little puppy. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? You need some toys, don't you? You came up here to see what we were doing. And you were all cuddly and sleepy then. And now you've woken up and now you're crazy, pup. Crazy. You can go out for a walk. Oh, what happened last week? Jessie had her japs. You can go out for a walk on Wednesday, can't you? So Tasha's got her first exam. And then we're going to come home. We're going to take little Jessie out for a walk. Try to set sound. Oh, she's so cute. Look at these paws. They're getting so big. And your belly. Ow, ow, ow. Biting still happens. No. 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 I'm working on that. And she's getting better at toilet training. So, yes. No. Right. No. Let's go get you some toys. Oh, Come on, then. Let's go. So, guys. Hello, and welcome to... What day is it? Tuesday. This is really unflattering. Oh my god. I'm trying to sit up, but I've got I did circuits last night, as I said, and I've got like aching abs and aching arms and aching everything, so I'm just in a bit of pain. I obviously went to work today. And it's the night before my first exam, which is kind of weird. Like I feel like it's such a weird thing for me to be doing exams again. And going back into my school, which I haven't been to in months. And 
yeah, it's just going to be generally a strange experience. And I'm going to be sitting the same exam as people, like, two years younger than me. Like, I, I can get over, like, doing it with the year below me because my school did the optional modules so that the year 12s and 13s did it at the same time and they just altern alternated it each year. So I'm used to doing exams with people in the year below me but not, like, two years below me. I think that's going to be weird. Um, I'm hoping to sort of leave get there sort of like 20 25 minutes before so i can go and sign in and like go to the toilet and sort of just get be prepared because i don't really know what i'm gonna have to do when i get there because I'm, I'm like a visitor essentially i'm not like a normal student so i don't just rock up to school walk in and do it i've got a sign in and i don't know i guess they wouldn't give me a visitor's badge because i am sitting in exam so i probably wouldn't be allowed the badge i don't know so yeah, I'm taking Hannah and her friend into school as well. But I've just changed my bed sheets. I love Next bedding, all of my bedding. I've got two like duvet sets and they're both from Next and they are both like, just so lovely. Also, my eyebrows. I've been going a bit dark with them by accident in the past few days. I'm really near the end of my pot of my Freedom Brow Promade. And I feel like, because I'm near the end, I'm like, just dabbing it in and not really thinking about how much I'm getting. So these aren't meant to be this dark. I might get the shade, this is shade blonde, I might go one shade lighter next time. Because I feel like aren't your brows meant to be one shade lighter than your hair, whereas this is definitely one shade darker. And although I think that they look good, I feel like they're just like a tiny bit too dark. Especially when I use the Essence Brow something. What are you called? I use Make Essence Make Me Brow on top. This is quite dark. This is the shade B A O B O A. Oh, number two, Brownie Brow. So yeah, it's okay if I use like Gimme Brown, but yeah, because it's meant to be like that shade. You see, in there. I don't know. I feel like I'm just sort of talking rubbish. But my favourite thing to be wearing at the moment, makeup wise. It's actually back to my Maybelline BB cream, which I haven't worn in ages, but I've been a bit obsessed with that lately. So yeah, I'm gonna go take my makeup off and probably edit for a little bit in bed and then go to sleep. Because although I should probably be going to sleep at about ten-ish, I'm just not gonna be falling asleep then. So yes, and also tomorrow we can take Jesse out for our first walk, which is really really exciting. So I will see you tomorrow. So guys. I'm in the car park waiting for my first exam and I've got butterflies and oh, this is scary. It literally reminds me so much of being coming out of my last exam, my first weekly vlog, and being like, I'm finished. Like, I'm getting serious flashbacks right now. Oh my god. My stomach's like doing flips. And this isn't even a hard exam. This is core one OCR maths. Like, I've done all of the other cores now, so this is, for me, quite an easy one. Obviously, when I did it the first time, I found it horrific but because I hadn't done three years of A-level maths but my stomach's doing flips I've been really good at not eating any gluten so I shouldn't have any stomach troubles although I feel like I get a, I'm just gonna be like a little bit TMI I do get a little bit of IBS and I think that's playing up now as well <laughs> this is all great so I need to take some Imodium before I go in and that normally just fixes things but yeah I've got like 20 minutes until I have to be there <laughs> so I don't really know what to do I'm probably gonna call Matt because I haven't spoken to him today and see if he's awake 20 past 8. I don't need to actually be there for another 20 minutes and then, then I've got 10 minutes until the exam starts so I'm basically half an hour early but I'd rather be half an hour early than five minutes early so so yeah I'm gonna call Matt. Guys I did it! I feel a little bit like I'm really happy I feel like it wasn't it was actually quite a hard exam I feel like it was quite similar to last year in terms of like hardness but I'm really like slightly annoyed about one question I did the last last question on the paper I don't know what point it was because I was just looking through the paper and I suddenly noticed at some point I'd written 27 times 2 equals 54 or 54 divided by 2 is 27 I'm not sure no 52 divided by 2 is 27 or 27 times 2 is 52 I'm not sure and obviously that's wrong it's 54 so I don't know whether I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what I was saying, I don't know what sort of point 
if that was like important or whether because quite often I found myself kept I kept doing stupid sums that like weren't needed for the calculation and then I'd be like why did I do that I don't actually need that and why is my car missed it up like I probably steamed up but anyway I think it went okay hopefully everyone else who did it thought it went okay um I guess we shall see won't we definitely didn't get 100% though so it was a little bit like kind of want to be 100% so anyway are you excited to see your cat Oh, well, you're nearly the same size now. It's a good girl. Good boy, Ollie. Good girl. Good boy. Kisses. Don't you dare jump on the... Ollie, no. No. Oh, Jessie. Ollie, get off. Jessie, Jessie ready for her first ever walk? Are you ready? <laughs> Tilly's ready. Well, Tilly's nowhere near ready because Tilly doesn't want to go. Oh yes. my goodness. She, this is what she does with her lead these days. What have you done? Oh, you got it all wrapped up. Oh, sorry, I do apologise. Let's get you out of that mess. Come here, Jessie, Jessie, come here. Come on. Oh, I've not seen another one. There we go. There we go. You're a good girl. No, you're not. You're in terror. She's a terror, isn't it? You're a good girl. You're, you're a good girl, you honey. <laughs> Kisses. You're doing your first walk. <laughs> Don't fall out until, please. Try not to. Or do it, because it could be even framed. Yeah, it could be a even framed moment. <laughs> this is the sea. You got to the sea. Oh, so cute. If anyone's wondering, I'm still absolutely obsessed with woodwick candles, and this one in particular. I think it's one of their large ones, but this scent is amazing. And I got this like around Christmas in sale in the sale in in the sale in Boots, and it's amazing. And even just leaving the lid off, I walk into my room sometimes and I can smell it. But I'm gonna burn it now because I love it and I feel like my room just needs a bit freshen up. And that is tissues and poo bags and order notes from work that I found in my pocket. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Thursday. I'm just taking the doggies, the doggies, for a walk. How cute is that, being able to say doggies now, not just dog. Uh, they, well, there you go. They've been really cute. We haven't got them on, like, the two-in-one lead yet because we're trying to train Jessie to walk good on a lead, like, without being connected to Tilly so she can do both sort of thing. Um, but she's doing pretty good. She was, like, a little bit scared of the bin men <laughs> because she hadn't seen bin men before, which is quite sweet. Well, she's seen them from, like, from the house, but she's never been out there when they're collecting stuff, so obviously it's quite loud. Um, but yeah, I've got work in a bit, so I'm just going to get them home and then trot off to work because I think oh, it's quite a nice day, so we'll probably have quite a few school trips down, so should be quite busy, hopefully. And then tomorrow I'm off, so that'll be exciting. I think I'm going to see my friends as well. Right, Tiddy, why don't you want to walk? She's like, I don't want to go any further. I want to go home. And what time is it? How long have we been out? Yeah, we should probably start heading home because Jessie's only allowed 10 minutes of walking. So come on then, you win, let's go. Look at these two best friends. Cute AF. Okay guys, it's currently Thursday night. I just wanted to show you a couple of things I got from Love Me Beauty quite a while ago and I had them sort of set aside to do the video but I haven't got around to doing it so I wanted to give them some extra um, stuff in my vlog. So I've got loads of stuff from Eco Tools here which I absolutely love. I love Eco Tools. Their stuff is so, so good. I've got tons of their brushes and I'm so excited about these but I think I'm going to give a couple of them to my mum and my sister because I don't need these many brushes. Um, and also this was the bag this month from Love Me Beauty which is really pretty and spring-like. Um, I do also have a code for 20% off. It's just Tasha20. Gets you 20% off your first box, which makes it pretty decently priced, if I do say so myself. So yeah, I'll try and leave a link below so that you can see that. But yeah, anyway, that's the bag. So I received this mask called the Dr. Braggy um, Marine Enzyme Intensive Treatment Mask. I might try this now. Um, what is it supposed to? Oh, it's good for like firming and oh, reduces redness, dehydration. Yeah, I'm going to use this now. It's something about early signs of 
What does it say? What does it say? What does it say? You can pause it now if you want to know, but I feel like doing a mask and this one's a sheet mask. So I'm going to give that a go. So I'll let you know how I think about that. Um, this Living Proof Style Lab Prime Style Extender. What is this? Oh, it's a hair. Oh, nearly dropped that. It's a hair product, which is quite interesting. I haven't done, I don't really use much on my hair, but I'm doing something really exciting with my hair tomorrow. So you shall see that then. And maybe once I've done that, that might inspire me to do something with my hair and give this a go. So this one is how many mils? But this is our oh, 30 mils, but this one is a sample. So you should be able to get these two. Um, the rest of the Eco Tools stuff, I'm not sure how many credits each individual thing will be, but these are all like items you can purchase otherwise. Um, I got these two little ones from Amy. One of these, I've tried this one I think before. I think this was in my ASOS advent calendar, but I'm really excited to try this. A matte finish moisturising cream. Um, as obviously I've got really oily skin, but those two look really nice. I'm sure I've tried that. Or I've tried something from this brand, that one of their exfoliators. But these are really cute little 10 mil samples, and I'm assuming you get both of them because they come in a little sealed pack. But um, anyway, I'll leave the link below, so hopefully you can go and find those out. And this other little sample, which I've just found, an evening primrose age revitalizing body oil from Walida. I might give this to my mum or my nan or someone because I feel like they might like that. Um, I'm not too keen on body oils. Don't know, I just don't really like oil on my body unless it, if it sinks in really quickly then maybe. But because it's like anti-aging, I feel like it's not really... Shouldn't really be like for my, it wouldn't really suit my skin the best, so I'll give it to someone who suits it better. Anyway, this is what I'm really excited about because I love Eco Tools. Ah, so excited. These these sponges I've been waiting to get my hands on for so long. They look so cool. They've got like flat edges and big one and little one. I'm probably going to give the big one to my sister because I really only use sponges like around my eyes. And I've got the Real Techniques one anyway, but it's cruelty free, vegan. And um, you can use it wet or dry, which I really like because I quite often use my Eco Tool, no, my Real Techniques one dry. And I know you're not supposed to, so, well, I don't think you're supposed to. Are you supposed to? I don't know. But anyway, really, really excited to open this up and play with that. And also this one, I've never used one like this. I'm going to do a get ready with me tomorrow, so I'm going to try and use some of these in there. So this one is for contouring? Yeah. Yeah, those two are the Perfecting Blender Duo. This is for contouring. And it looks really weird but interesting and yeah it's all vegan and um, is this all vegan cruelty free vegan all of that eco tools is a good company and you can generally rely on it and i love their brush sets i've already got this one but they've redone it i think so yeah it comes with a couple of different things i really need i really love these sorts of brushes um it's like angled eyeliner ones. I use them on my eyebrows all the time. But I'm going to give the rest to my mum, I think, because she deserves some brushes. And this one, the full powder brush. This looks amazing. Like, look at how domed it is. I, I'm going to get it out of the box and show you. Okay, quick shout out for packaging, because I'm obsessed with good packaging. Little extra on the back there. Love that. But this is just like a big domed brush, which looks absolutely gorgeous. And the handle feels so so nice and, and i'm a little bit obsessed but yeah yeah nothing more to be said about that that's a soft soft brush and it looks amazing and i can't wait to get my hands and use all of these so guys i'm at my friends bella's house and i'm about to go see my two friends we're gonna go out and sit by the river i think and have a delightful little picnicky snack thing i should probably turn my engine off because i don't know where they are and yeah it's gonna be delightful so probably won't vlog might try and vlog probably forget but they might want to be on the vlog so we'll see like jesse what are own. you doing <laughs> better not be digging jesse what's this <laughs> what are you <laughs> oh my god jesse you're covered in dirt yes. you're covered in sand oh Oh my word, oh, my ice cream's on the floor. Oh my god.
Hello guys, welcome to Saturday. I'm having a no makeup day in just a vest top and some jogging bottoms. I've been doing some papers and stuff and I'm actually thinking about dyeing my hair. I've got a um, L'Oreal kit and I think I'm gonna do a little bit of an ombre, but I'm a bit nervous, so I don't know when I'm gonna do it. And also I don't know what top I'm gonna wear because I need to wear one that you don't mind getting ruined, don't you? So yeah, but I've been doing a revision this morning. I'm just talking quietly because my nan's in the next room and I know if I start talking loudly, she's gonna think I'm talking to her. So <laughs> I'm just talking quietly and yeah, just having one of those days. Got sleepy puppies. Monster Jesse. Oh, look at these big paws. They're so big now. Oh my goodness. Oh, and sleepy Dilly. No, 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 no. Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Yeah, it's a good girl. It's a good girl. Jessie's about to go to the beach for the first time ever in her little life. Little, little beachy life. Come on. You're on the beach? Oh my goodness. Just that one free dig hole. Free dug. Mm-hmm. 